All right, we're back. Let's get this job done and build and paid for and get out of the poison oak for a while. Because I got jobs that are out on the coast that are not in the poison oak. And we've finished marking all but about 300 feet of this mile and a quarter. We're going to go up in there and do a corner restoration. They're just uh, notes for the map. And then traverse another like three or 400 feet and then mark it. And then it's going to be hot. We're going to go to happy hour. Copy. Well, I got to be a couple hundred feet into that, but I think I'm going to go up and around because I don't really want to go through that blackberry crud hole. We're just packing some stuff. No big deal. Copy. Hey, look at that buck rub. That's a good one. A little cedar tree. Okay, we can see our last point on the road. Good a spot as any. Coming up through here-ish. Look at this big old burly maple. He's making buddies with fur. They're basically holding hands, roots. He probably gonna be gone here shortly. We'll see, by the end of the day, we'll know what side of the line he's on. Copy. He's set, let's grab our poo. Head up the mountain, see what we can see looking back. Line's going somewhere over there, but I'd really like to get up on this flat somewhere and shoot a side shot back. So I can see further on the next shot, or else I'll just be on this hillside. In the brush, there's no need. I got reflectorless. Don't even need this sucker. Copy. Hey, I guess it wasn't up here as far as I thought. There's the corner right there. I don't actually have to tie the corner. I just got to tie into my old control. So I already have the corner tied from it. And then we'll be marking line. Geez, just this little section. Sweet. We're gonna be getting off early today. But what? But before I set this point, I need to know that I'm not gonna hit a tree. So I guess I gotta go up there. Oh, I see blue, there's a line coming in. I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere. I just gotta make sure, for sure, that I can see this ribbon from control. Also be spitting in the wind. Okay, I think this is gonna work. I just gotta hack everything. New plan. Too much backtracking. I'm just gonna see if I can set up over this cap and use it and turn up to that control we were just looking at because I know I can see it. And then, bugs. Yeah, I can set up over this guy and then tie into that from right there. Perfect. Since we're standing right here, might as well do our corner right up. You can scrape, use the bottom of the paint can to scrape moss off like that. So you can get some paint actually on the, on the bark and him and your scar. That's fine. We got a couple more bearing trees and then I'll do diameter notes and say what, what we're on, a little slope coming down here. Note that that one's exploded itself. All right, I'll do that right now. So those two are older on a previous survey. And these two are newer, one here and one up there. Nice uh, healed over scab, scar, looks pretty nice. Copy. I just got a whack back to the gun, clear some of this stuff and we're cruising. All right, we're huffing puffing, it's getting hot. We're up the mountain, I don't know where to set the instrument pack. Poison oak everywhere. How about, how about on that? How about on that thing? Oh, sorry. Perfect. Okay, enough of me huffing and puffing into the camera. Uh-oh, machine coming, I wonder which way they're turning. Hope I didn't park like a prick, I can't remember. He's by me, Never mind. So if I didn't mess this up, so this will see that, and that'll see the other thing. And then we'll plug it into the old pewter, and we'll be marking. Of course I gotta do a bunch of whacking, it's fine. You two are like a couple of spider monkeys always whacking off in my tool shed. Sight the back sight nail. Looks pretty good other than I'm wiggling the dang instrument with this phone. And then sight as low as you can see on the foresight rod for your angles. Doubled angles. 
All right, that doubled within three seconds on a five second gun. All right, shoot a distance, move it up, closing angle, already have that distance, and then uh, pack everything out and go retool for marking line. All right, we are set up over the cap. Closing angle. Hey, that last angle doubled exactly. What do I got, Schmutz on the lens? Anyways, that was our last one. I did a distance just for spits and giggles. I can go back through the, let's see, I can go back and see how we checked. I got my rod up pretty high. It's probably up seven feet. So this will be a good check to see how plumb my rods are. Go back to here, 89.538. 89.530, eight thousandths. All right, I'll take that in the woods any day with this equipment. Copy, keep your rods plumb, folks. We got all the poo out of the woods. We're trading the tripod and the stuff for ax and beater, posts, tape. Let's go mark this and go home. It's getting hot. Just climb the mountain one more time. And then what is it, Wednesday? Yeah, I suppose it's Wednesday. Garbage night, copy. So I just drove this post on the property line, 3.8 from our control point. And look at that, old barbed wire fence. Doing something right. I'm gonna mark up through here and then line it back cause I'm going into this brushy draw. I have another one set over there, but I'm gonna have to extend this past these trees to see it. Copy. Boy, if you guys are playing the copy drinking game, you gotta already be tipsy, huh? Copy. 44.0, east of here, that of yonder. Set it, fill in, go home. All right, how about some one-handed tree blazing? Copy. Hey, there's something. Just working through the brush on my line. Here's a stick with some old blue. Um, I don't know when. More evidence. Copy. Oh my god. Quit saying copy. Copy. All right, we're done. We're going home. I just got whipped in the face with poison oak. My head's hot. I can't think good. It's time. Whoa. Before we wreck. All right. See you next time. Copy.